Oh, I'm not even there yet. Just imagine I had to walk this way and now I'm walking back. You know, after the class has been canceled, this is just shit. Look how hot I am in the face. That's how long that walk is. It's actually shit. I guess that's what I get for parking and overflow. Anything for free parking, I tell you what. This is why you need to subscribe to YouTube channel Xcovi so he can actually afford to park at uni and not walk what was 15 minutes. 15 minutes in, sit down for 10, see that class is cancelled, and have to walk the fuck back! Ah, it's not fair. Anyway guys, welcome to another vlog. It's Corby, it's Tuesday, and uh, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Anyway guys, um, <laughs> on the way home, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I actually thought I was gonna be vlogging in class and doing some cool, like, time lapse shit today, but all I got is my complaining fucking walk back to this goddamn car! Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive home. In now, what is peak hour traffic? And, um, yeah, see you then. Look how sweaty I am, Jesus Christ. I actually think I legitimately have a problem here. I'm now getting another frozen cock from 7-Eleven. Another frozen cock from 7-Eleven. Jesus Christ. Corby, you have a problem. Decide to mix it up today. I'm a rebel. Um, how's it going guys? Basically after that I just stopped vlogging for the day. I had uni stuff when I got home and then I just stopped vlogging. I didn't go out, I didn't end up doing anything, so I'm here now. I'm gonna end this vlog with a QA. and a If you guys don't like it, you can just click off. I'm gonna go through some questions really here and um, yeah, don't forget I'll be doing Q&As in the future when I run out of footage like this, um, like now. So if you want your questions to be answered or questions like yours to be answered, leave them down below. Do you sleep with your do closet doors open or closed? I live in the closet, um, so I guess closed. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels. I don't stop at shampoo and conditioner bottles. I take towels. I take lampshades. I take those little socks you get sometimes. You know those robes you get with like the hotel name like here on the chest? Take them as well. Take everything. You pay for the room. You pay for everything. Just do not touch the fridge. If you move it off that little sensor thing, you pay for it. You don't want to pay. You get the free shit. Have you stolen a street sign? Um, yes I have. Uh, I was a part of a group of people who actually did steal it, but I didn't steal it myself. The people stole and I was just end up I was just with them I didn't necessarily steal it myself but we ended up returning it and putting it down on the ground where we took basically we're all drunk we went out we went out got the street sign we hung from it well they hung from it a little bit I was just laughing at them being idiots we carried it back to the house the elder brother got so angry at us and he told us to take it back so we ended up doing that would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees have you ever watched the revenant swarm of bees I would rather fucking swarm of bees do I smile for pictures not all the time I, I sometimes pull faces come on Everyone pulls fucking faces sometimes. No one always is so happy that they're just like <sighs> Every fucking time. It's normally a break. Like you will just go, you know, you just pull a face. So don't. Do you can't ever count your steps when you walk? No, I'm not that so so OCD that I actually like count everything that I do every second of the day. I know people actually count their syllables. This is actually proven. People count their syllables when they're talking and they'd have to stop their sentence with a certain amount of syllables, even if it makes sense or not. And um, it would get to a stage where they would um they would finish their sentence, but then say cowabunga at the end, just so they have enough syllables in their sentence in their brain. Where would you drink with dinner? Had a, um, had a glass of cock with some ice cubes. It was very great. Where would I bury hidden treasure if I had some? This is going to be the last question. Um, if I had buried treasure, um, I don't think I would necessarily bury it. I would like try and keep, because like when you like hide something, people find stuff that you've hidden, right? But if you keep things like, I don't know, say you have like a chest just in your room, like 24 seven all the time. Ever since you're a kid, you've had this chest in your room and you're like, you put shit in it like books or whatever and um, if I had treasure I would put it in somewhere that's always being used no one would think like oh Liam's hidden somewhere let's just look there I would try and hide it in an obvious spot because they say sometimes the best place to hide stuff is in the open if you guys want to you can answer some of the questions down below that I read out I would like to hear your responses or your answers if you want to there's no info buts about that thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and viewing all my videos you're the best don't forget there are 30 vlogs there ready for your consumption go back and watch them all they're pretty good anyway guys I'll see you next episode of something this has been Kobe thanks for watching I know this one's a little bit shorter and a little bit duller than the normal vlogs that I do but put up with it okay I'll see you in the next episode of something this has been Kobe I hope you guys so Catch you next time.